Hey guys, it's Super Seihau here, and welcome back to part 4 of Let's Play Pokemon Gold. Well, we made it to the town of, uh... Fudge, I forget what the town... Violet City, that's what it is. In this episode, we have to go in here. Sprout Tower, because we have to do this before we challenge the gym leader. I don't know why. Except, the thing is, this episode may be kind of boring, because I have to... I might, you might not want to sit here and watch me kill the same trainer, the same things, over and over again. So I'm going to speed up the battles. Because trust me, it will take a while. I'm going to speed it up once I start, though. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you later. Okay, guys, I am back. Uh, I'm just going to commentate for the rest of this battle, I guess, because new Pokemon. But, oh my god, if I wouldn't have sped that up, that would have taken, like, that would have taken, like, two episodes to do. If I wouldn't have sped that up, and we pretty much did it, like, in not even, like, a quarter. That would have taken at least the entire episode. But, yes, we made it through. Killed all these trainers with stupid Bellsprouts. Go over here and... It's the redhead. Elder, you're indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here is your HM. But let me say this. You should treat your Pokemon better. Who cares about treating Pokemon better? I kind of agree with the redhead. Hmm. Claims he's an elder, but he is weak. I only care about Pokemon, and that he could win. And he uses the escape rope. And just leaves us. Okay. Uh, really? Ah. Uh. Okay, we're gonna go over here and grab it. That. <clears throat> okay, we got an escape rope. Took long enough to get. Now we talk to the elder, and he's the boss basically of this tower. Okay, so he's gonna start off the battle. Sage Lee wants the battle. Li Lee or just L I Lee or just Lee. Thing is, I also got Ember during that, and Ember, oh my God, it's so friggin' good against these Pokemon. Kills them like in one hit. I can check speed too. God. Some stupid hoot hoot. See how many hits it takes to take this thing down. Oh wow, he's burned. So now he'll lose damage like every turn. He got hurt by his burn. The good thing about burn is I don't think it goes away until the Pokemon dies. Like poison. During battle or something. And he got killed by his burn, wow. Ooh, now level 14. And there's one more Pokemon. Oh wow, Bellsprout, this is going to be so difficult. <laughs> Just 
like Ember and it instantly dies. Yeah, so that was actually not that tough because we had a super effective Pokemon against like all this. And our Pokemon's a really high level. What? Oh, Cyndaquil's evolving. Better Pokemon, known as. Dun, 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 bleh. Bleh. Now we get a, your Cyndaquil evolved in the Quill Lava. Yes, now we have a much stronger Pokemon. And we got HMO5 Flash, which is very unnecessary, so I'm probably never going to use it. Might use it later in the game. Like, that cave that I said, that we might not see until a lot later in the game, that's where we need it. See, so yeah, I basically get all this useless stuff early, I don't know why. We're going to be like, oh, Austin, how did we get in? Oh, man. And guess what? And for you, uh, those of you who don't know Austin's by name, uh... Where was it? This thing. If we use this, instantly brings us out of the tower. Yeah, no hassle of walking out. Let's go back to Pokemon Center. Real quick, I'm going to speed this up. I guess in a second. Okay, so we healed our Pokemon. And now we go to the gym. Where's the gym? Here's the gym. So let's head in the gym and see what's in there. Oh, there's a trainer. Not good enough. Oh, the gym leader's name is Falconer, he said. Ooh, or Falconer. I always call him Falconer. Because it seems like cause he's a five type gym leader. It's like a falcon, not falk. Because I don't know where people got the word falk from, but... Oh no, that's probably gonna be like the new term. That's probably like a term in Pokemon dictionary, like Mother Falker or something like that. Burned. Oh man, Pokemon died. Oh man, Nintendo can't get sued. I still don't get how Nintendo can't just say the Pokemon died. Oh, he fainted. It also kind of makes me wonder, where do Pokemon go if they are killed in the wild? Like, do they die? Because, like, do they, they, do they just, like, automatically just get healed and just, like, die and a new one generates? Well, like, yeah, your Pokemon gets healed and you take it to Pokemon Center, but no one takes the other things to Pokemon Center. I just realized that. So what's going to happen to those? Such a sad story. Oh yeah, anyway, we're fighting this stupid Pidgey. As I said, like, a couple episodes ago, it wasn't a good Pokemon. And that was a critical well. Okay, he's gonna send out another Pidgey well. We can get a critical now, that would be great. Oh, guess we didn't even need a critical. Oh, now we're level 15. Wow, we are overpowered as crap. In the next episode, we're going to go and challenge the gym leader. See you guys later.